All right, so before we can dive in and start learning how to use Unreal Engine, we'll need to actually get Unreal Engine installed on our computers. But before we can do that, you'll need to have an account with Epic Games, the creators of Unreal Engine. Now, if you already have Unreal installed, you can go ahead and skip to the next video. Otherwise, I'm going to walk you through the three step process to get up and running. Step one, you'll need to have an Epic Games account. Now, if you play Fortnite, Rocket League, or use the Epic Games Store, then you already have an Epic Games account. And you can use this same account for Unreal Engine. If not, you'll need to create one. To get started, go to unrealengine.com in your browser. Now, we're going to go up here and click on this sign in button where you'll be presented with an overwhelming list of options. You're gonna to wanna to click on the sign in with Epic Games. Now, if you already have an account, you'll enter your login credentials here. If you don't, you're going to click on the sign up button at the bottom. When signing up, yes, you will need to input your birthday. This is a legal requirement because the same account is used for their game store. And of course, for online safety in games like Fortnite. Once you've entered your birthday, fill out the rest of the information and click continue to create your account. Step two, we need to download and install the launcher. Once you're signed in, you can go up here and click on the download button. On this page, you'll see the recommended system requirements on the left, but really these are the minimum requirements for working with Unreal Engine 5. You'll want to make sure you are running at least these specs that match your operating system. On the right, you'll see the licensing information. The key thing to take away from this section is that Unreal Engine is free to use. When they say free, they really do mean free. I've personally used Unreal Engine on television productions, feature films, and even VR training experiences for multi-billion dollar corporations. Epic never charged us a penny for any of it. Now go ahead and scroll down just a little where you will see the download launcher button. You'll want to download and install this. Below that, you'll see a provided video on installing the engine if you need a slower step-by-step -step tutorial. Once you have the launcher installed, open it up and sign in with your Epic Games account. Step three, we need to install the engine. With the launcher open, it will likely take you to the Epic Game Store section at the start. On the left, we want to go down here to the Unreal Engine option. Clicking on this will give you a slightly different interface. To get this up and running, we'll want to go to the Library tab up at the top. Now, mine looks a little different than what a fresh one will because I already have Unreal Engine installed. On mine, under Engine Versions, you can see several cards with different numbers. These represent all the different versions of Unreal that I have installed. And yes, you can have multiple versions of the engine installed at the same time. Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5 are both managed here and are easily identified by the number at the beginning. Now to get this installed, we're going to click on the plus symbol next to engine versions. That's going to add a card with a dropdown that allows you to select which version you want to install. For this course, go ahead and select the highest engine version number available. At the time of this recording, that was 5.1.0. Then click install. Unreal Engine is a large program, so this is going to take a while to download and install. Be patient and you'll get this going. All right, so let's recap. In this video, we learned about setting up our Epic Games account, installing and using the Epic Games launcher, and how to install Unreal from within that launcher. Now, depending upon what project you're working on, you might actually need to be using a specific version of Unreal Engine. For example, a game studio I am currently working with is using Unreal Engine 5.0 with custom code and the plan to upgrade to 5.1 in the future. Conversely, a television team I was recently working with is still using version 4.27 because it 
plays nicer with the LED volume wall technology that's being used in virtual production on things like The Mandalorian or The Batman. As another example, I'm using 5.1 to teach this course and for all of my personal projects as well. Now, of course, I have all of these different versions installed on my computer at the same time. So remember, if you need more than one version, you can have it. All right, so once you have Unreal Engine installed, we'll be able to dive in and create our first project. So go ahead and take a quick break. And once the installation finishes, I'll see you in the next video.